Hey everybody, Richter Knives, your favorite knife tuber. Episode number 71. And today, I've been waiting on this number 71 for a long time because there's something I wanted to use as this episode number 71 number. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of behind the scenes, but before we do any of that, check this out. This is what's in my pocket today. I've got the Sodbuster Jr. in the red Delrin. Ooh, with the teeners. And I figured this is probably my best teener knife. And what I'm gonna show you today is more teeners than this. You believe that? Also, EDC Leatherworks coffin slip. These are really cool. Get with Randy from EDC Leatherworks, Georgia Adventure. Get you one of these. Look at that. That's cool. So, uh, let's talk about behind the scenes. Usually see me using this thing right here to show you this tailgate and whatever's knives I'm talking about. But a lot of people keep on asking me about this tailgate and saying they like the patina on the tailgate. Today, I'm gonna show you the whole truck. This is the truck behind my videos. So, let's start like this. This is a 1971 Chevrolet C20, not a C10, three quarter ton Chevrolet pick em up truck. And you can see from that tailgate, that's probably the coolest looking tailgate I ever seen and I own it and that's cool to me. Uh, that is really sweet. Um, it's got, let's see, Liss Shell Burger, Grand Junction, Colorado. Look at that. That is cool looking. Um, very cool. And I also like how these letters, of the Chevrolet, it's factory that way. Everything else has surface rust, but that white stayed on there. That to me is a cool look. You also got the disc brakes. Handles like a vet. No, it don't. I'm just kidding. Also bought these um, clear tail light lenses because I like to party. And it's got all new lenses all the way around it. Those are LEDs. Um, let's take a look at the rest of the truck. The tires, BF Goodrich, all terrain uh, TAs. And these right here, I got them because number one, I like the letters and the font on these. The white letter tires, to me, you can't go without white letter tires. How are you gonna do it? You can't. These are the best looking ones to me, in my opinion. Also, the aggressive tread on here. It's not mud grips, but I think it looks really cool. I like that package. She got the chrome rims. You know, to blind the haters. Um, this right here is a fuel door. So I've got three uh, fuel tanks. This one right here, um, I can't get open because they didn't give me the key. It won't open, I tried. Let me in. They won't let you in, whoever's in there. Um, also have this right here. This is where I put, and that's locked like a vault too. You can't siphon my stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's got a key. I got this key. Uh, look at the teeners on the bed. It's all surface rust. There's only two places on this truck where there's real rust, and I've got uh, the panels to fix it. I am about to put a patina sauce, I guess you call it, uh, on this truck to preserve the patina. It'd be kind of like a clear coat. Uh, this right here on the door, this has some rust on it, and this is the bad rust at the bottom on the rocker. It's weight reduction makes the truck faster but this right here i guess it looks like some it got some mud sling up on it and it sit there it probably sit in the field for about 20 ish years when i bought it i uh i had to get it running it had four flat tires it had uh or three flat tires and it was um it was in pretty bad shape the interior was ugly as sin i like these mirrors they're not sport mirrors but they look good on this truck, how this truck is. It's got a U9000 
And I did a little bit of research on this. I can't remember exactly what all it was because it was a long time ago, but I think this is from Utah. I think the truck's from Colorado, but it drove in Utah and was registered. And I think the U and the 9,000, the 9,000 meant three quarter ton pickup truck. I think the 6,000 was for a half ton, something like that. So your work trucks had to be registered and had to have some kind of number uh, right here on the front fender or the, or the door. So, U9000, custom. And I'm going to leave that there because I think that is, look, man. I mean, look at it. You know what I'm saying. Uh, that is custom. And it says it right there. That's how I know. Custom 20. They call a ton. Also, another badging is this 8. That's 8 cylinders. It's a V8 fillers, and it's 350 cubic inches. Let's check out the cubes. You want some? It's got a little crap. I fixed it. Look, it's fine. Uh, I do have the white bumper. It's whited out. So I also uh, put the white bow tie. It was blue, but I kind of like the way it kind of matchy matches. See what I'm saying? I've done that with vinyl. And it's a little crooked, but ah, there, I fixed it too. Let's look this good and see what we got. It's hard to do one-handed. Boom! 350. What are you doing if you don't have Dell Earnhardt sticker on your truck? You need to rethink your life. This is a 350 Chevy, like I said 14 times now. Uh, it has a 780 Holley double pumper. has a Holley uh, Street Dominator. Holley Street Dominator. Aluminum high-rise intake. Or that might be a mid-rise. I don't know. And... Um, it's got the hooker headers and the Excel HEI distributor. So, <clears throat> uh, this is all what you see right here going to be changed out in probably about two weeks. Reason for this is because I bought, uh, it's a cutlass. It's, it's not, you know, it don't do the, it's not fast. So, I bought some Vortec heads and I had them redone put new springs in them, uh, got them all souped up. And then when I got the Vortec heads, I'm also gonna have to change out the valve covers to the ones that have the center bolts. So this is gonna change. Also gotta have to have a new intake because these bolts go in at an angle and the Vortec heads, they go straight down. So I got a new aluminum intake. I'm gonna put it on here as well. It's a high rise. And uh, I'm keeping the carb. Because this carburetor is a beast. I love it. It's probably the best carburetor I've ever had. Gonna keep the axle uh, stripper. This thing fires right up. Not kidding. Just touch the key. If you ain't touched this truck in two weeks and you come, you ain't got to pump the gas pedal, nothing. You just turn that key. Fires right on up. So, uh, it did have wires everywhere. I hid all that stuff. Uh, because I'm OCD. Um, those folks that know me know me uh, that I'm OCD. Uh, these little ones, they're two and a half horsepower a piece. I had to put these here because I needed the powers. So, there you go. 350 Chevy. Ah. Yep. Let's look around this side. Like a rock. Yep. Uh, the other place that has uh, rust, or I call it a weight reduction, is right there. I've got the panel to fix it. And that's going to be welded in. And uh, there's the other gas tank, but nobody will let me in. Hey! Hey! It's not coming open. Mm, okay, let's look at the inside. I showed you inside. See that cooler? If you have a truck with no cooler in the back of it, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Okay, door panel first. Door panel, door panels look pretty good, I'd say. Uh, the inside of this paint looks really good. That's the color it used to be. Check out the difference of the truck and the door. That's crazy. Um, I've got this steering wheel cover. The first, when I got this truck, I'm gonna tell you, it was terrible. 
I had to gut the whole entire thing and redo the interior. It's not perfect. It's not show quality whatsoever, but I tried to get it period correct. Uh, kind of like maybe how my dad or somebody would have had it when he was driving this truck or something uh, back in the 70s. Uh, has no windshield wipers uh, because they cost like 90 bucks. So I rain X this bad boy. Um, speakers. There's where the speaker goes, but I don't have a speaker in it. Only speakers I have or tweeters for right now. Uh, I did put a new radio in it. It's a JVC. It didn't come like that in 1971. Uh, that's custom. I put that in there. Felt bad about drilling the holes on it or cutting that out, but it's my truck. Uh, let's see. Got the tech. So I don't blow the motor while I'm going 9,000 RPMs on the track. And then uh, it's got the gas pedal delete. Don't worry about all that uh, grass and stuff on the carpet. This is new carpet as well. Um, I put this in. It had some ugly uh, pea green carpet, whatever. I put this seat cover in it because I felt this was period correct. <clears throat> and it don't burn any parts of your body when you get in the truck. I live in Texas. Uh, got the Hurst T-handle because, you know, I like to party. If I didn't tell you, my truck's name is Goose. So I thought it fitting just to put that there. I think it looks pretty cool. And it didn't come with air, but it did come with heat. The heat is awesome. Uh, the air is that little winder and that little winder as fast as you can go. Um, this didn't even have a gauge. There's nothing there. Like, check it. Nothing. It's dumb. This is a... Uh, let me move my finger. Let me get over here. I can. This is a uh, race car stuff. No, it's not. Wow. Uh, blinkerage. That's cool. And the steering wheel's broke. But you know, it's it's 1971. Didn't it come like that? I don't know. No seat belts. That's okay. So, one more look at the truck. I didn't tell you I had LED headlights. Oh yeah, I did. LED headlights on there. So, this is my truck, 1971. Y'all been uh, talking about the tailgate, where there's the whole entire truck. This is a uh, goose, and this is Richter.